Hi guys, and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are playing with some new e.l.f. products, and you'll see me use them throughout the video. But first, I just want to go ahead and do the small haul at the beginning, just to show you guys some of the stuff I'll be using, some of the stuff I didn't use. One of the items is this new e.l.f. mascara. It's the e.l.f. Lash Extender Mascara for length and definition. And of course, it's in the shade black. But I picked all of these items up December the 24th. And this is new. This was $10. So, like I said, you'll get an idea of how they do in the video. Hold on. Let me grab it. Next, I picked up two of the e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush. One in Coral Rose and the other in Suave Mauve. These are the only two shades that were available that I felt was dark enough for my skin tone at the moment. They have some more options, but they were sold out at the time. And after using them, you'll get my honest opinion about them in the video. What else did I use? Oh, I purchased a e.l.f. Cream Glide Lip Liner in Brown. It's just a brown lip liner. It's very smooth and creamy. I don't see it like transferring or being hard or tugging at your lips or anything. So I purchased that. And then of course I purchased another one of the Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. Like I've told you all, I really enjoy this stuff. I enjoy cleansing balms in general to remove my makeup but the elf one elf makes a really good one it's not harsh on the skin it doesn't cause my skin to break out and it doesn't give that because even though this is a bomb it doesn't give that oily greasy feeling on your face when i'm using it to remove my makeup so i purchased another one of these i also this is new but i didn't use it in the video so i have to come back it's the putty color correcting eye brightener and i have it in the shade deep tan And I wanted to use it like under my eye for any darkness I might have there. It says, awaken your under eye with illuminating pearls and color correcting tones. The medium coverage putty balm formula brightens the appearance of dark circles and conceals and creates a smooth canvas for a concealer. So you'll use this prior to concealer. So we'll come back and try that. And last but not least, this was what I was hyped up about. And it's the new e.l.f. CC cream, full coverage, long lasting, dewy finish, skin loving ingredients, turmella mushrooms, and hyaluronic acid. And it's the new CC cream. And I got the shade 510C because that's what I use in the other one. And why did I do that? Because baby, this is so not my color. I have no idea what. what <sighs> I need to look and see what e.l.f. return policy is and like, you know, would it even be worth it or should I just, I don't even know. I don't even know. That's how it looks. As you can see, too light for me. Let me blend it out. Yeah, see, not so much on Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm going to try it, but see how the bottle looks? I'm going to try it on the camera tomorrow with you guys and let you see. Right now, it doesn't look bad on camera, but you know, looks can be deceiving. And then I can mess around and have flashback, and we wouldn't want that. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll definitely give that a try. So, that's just a small elf haul. So, now you can get on to the video of me applying whatever I'm applying today because... Y'all know how we do. And if you enjoy the video, by the time you make it to the end, make sure you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit, hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification button so you're notified every time I post new videos because I post daily and you don't want to miss it. And I'm going to catch y'all later. Bye, guys. Okay, guys, I use my House Labs foundation today. Another one in my stash that I haven't used in quite some time. I've been really loving this shop. It's a uh, kind of like fluffy kabuki brush. It's small in the hand, easy to blend. 
your product. I can see this working well for liquid and uh, powder formulas. So I didn't include the foundation or primer or anything because y'all see me do that all the time on this channel. And I'm going to take, if I can find it, because I might as well do this, the Olive, the matte elf concealer since we're using going to try to use some new elf products today so then concealer yeah i ordered from elf these new products december the 24th and i just received it received it january the 10th i reached out to them last week and they were like sorry for the delay uh because of the holidays and the sale or whatever, they had an abundance of shipping. I mean, orders. So it was taking quite some time to process the orders. I'm like, dog, it never took this long, even with a really good sale. But I guess the holidays were something really, really different. But I think I didn't, when I purchased these items, they weren't like on sale like that. Like I just used my points and got the items, but it wasn't like a major, major sale. I don't know. I'm blend that out. Okay, for sure this weekend I'm gonna go to Alta and get me a bear with me spray. That's another thing that I probably won't know what to do if they discontinue it. I'll be really sad. I was trying to think like what I used before I started using the bear with me. I don't know. I can't remember. I know I used to use a She Glam setting spray a lot. And the Morphe Continuous Mist Setting Spray. The one in the black can. I have a bottle over there. Someone drop down and let me know because I have a bottle over there and it won't spray out. It's a brand new bottle. So what do I have to do to make it come out? So drop down and let me know if you know how to fix that. Okay, let's get the blush. Let's see. I got two. Oh, I wanted to use that. I guess I'll use that another time. But I got two of the e.l.f. liquid blush, and they were $7, the camo liquid blush and high pigment. One is in the shade Coral Rose, and one is in the shade Suave Mauve. Y'all know this have been all, turn right down. This have been all over the internet. Everybody's been talking about them, saying how they compare to most high-end brands. I'm gonna mix the two shades today on both sides, of course. Not mix, mix, but we're gonna apply both of them. And I saw this shade, and I'm like, hmm, will it show up on my dark skin? But sometimes you just never know. So this is Suave Mauve. This is the applicator. $7 from a not blush person. So let's see, y'all know I don't really get like deep, deep into stuff. <laughs> so Suave Mauve, let's see. I, I saw mixed reviews. Some people were saying it was pigmented. Some people say it's not. Some people say you gotta add product on it. Can y'all, mm, y'all can see a little bit. Yeah, you can see a little bit, not a lot. I just do a coral rose. It says, build a lasting flush with this super pigmented liquid blush. The lightweight formula blends out soft, dewy finish. Oh, gosh, I got a dewy finish. Why well, I couldn't be mad. Now, that's one thing I like my blush to be is matte. And this is the coral. So it's the coral. They were out of a lot of shades. So these were the only two shades that I saw that I might be interested in. So that's why I have these two shades. So we're going to put that right up under there. And I'm pressing, not so much swiping. 
this would be good for me because y'all know I'm not a blushy. Well, y'all can see. Can you see? Look in this. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I'm glad I didn't put my powder down. It's, for me, this is enough blush, right? Sasha Buttercup to set this. My concealer where it be don't crease on me. Let me get another sponge, blend it out first, and then set it. I'm going to leave it on the back of my hand to see if it dries down. Or... Okay, let that sit for a minute. Be back. Okay, next I got the e.l.f. Lash Extender Mascara Length and Definition Dramatic Length. 97% saw Insert Dramatic Lash Length. Like that. Let's see. I'm not big on mascara. That's another area I'm not big on. Like I probably I have. I only get that long calm when it's on sale at Ulta, and then I'm good for to, until the next time they have it on sale. I don't really care about mascara like that. So let's see. Let me see. Can y'all see me? Hold on. Let me get close. Closer than close. As long as it doesn't clump. We good. If it clumps, we not good. As long as I don't poke myself in the eye, we good. Let's see. Y'all see a difference? I don't see no difference. It's coating the lashes. Oh, it's coating the lashes really well. It's not clumpy. But to be honest, I never really expect like a whole lot out of mascaras. And I think this was $10. And I'm not one to sit and keep applying coats and coats and coats. Definitely when I'm with the wrong falsies anyway. But I just wanted my people who don't wear falsies to see how this does. I mean, it's okay. But can y'all see I'm going to look down? I mean, it's okay. It, it, it all depends on your preference and what you like. Uh, Alright, let me dust this powder off. Be back. Okay, next I got this e.l.f. Cream Glide Lip Liner. It's in a brown shade, but I don't see like a name on there or anything. Yeah, I know every time I order something from somewhere, I got to get a brown lip liner. Let's see if it's like dark. My face is setting with the mist.
Okay, a nice subtle brown, not too deep. I'm going to take this Morphe's Make It Big Lip Plumper in Big Sweet Tea. It looks like this. You can always tell when it's about to plump because it smells like peppermint. I wanted a brown lip, so that was real close. We'll see how I feel about it once I put on my clothes and stuff. Now press the remaining setting spray in the skin. Make sure everything is together it's together <laughs> it's together all right guys this is how the blush is looking as i finish my makeup and it's still sitting on my hand as you can see it's still creamy it's like I said, it's a dewy finish. It didn't never like completely dry down. One focus. Yeah, it didn't completely dry down, but that's how it looks. Not quite sure if you can see it on me. I can't even see it on me. So I know you can't see it on me. But this how I look on the finger. <laughs> on the hand, I don't know. And I would hate to like keep building it up and then I get too much. Uh, blush because that would scare me like really really scare me okay let me go get dressed and then I'll be right back but so far I feel like we okay we're gonna be okay okay I'll be back alrighty guys I made it back this is the completed look using the new elf blush the elf mascara the elf lip liner like that those are the only new things I use, yeah. Today, uh, could I have done without this? If I'm being honest, I want to know. Yes. <laughs> yes, even though, I mean, I can still see, I can see a little bit of the blush, but not like extremely like, and for me, that's okay because I'm not like an over-the-top blush person. But if you're an over-the-top blush person, like you probably wouldn't too much care for this because it doesn't give that va va voom blush effect. Mascara, like I said, I'm not really big on mascara, but now I have one that'll probably last me for the next six months or so. So I'm happy for that. And the lip liner is a brown lip liner. I got one million lip liners that are brown in my collection. I so did not need it this, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, so that is everything. Drop down and let me know if you purchased any of these items. And if so, what were your thoughts? Uh, as you saw in the beginning of the clip, I show you I did purchase the CC cream, but it's the wrong shade and also a color corrector. So yeah, I, that was just a small haul. I decided just to go ahead and put it in the video because it wasn't a lot of items. But yeah, if you enjoyed and also guys, this sweater right here, I have had this sweater probably for 16 17 years i got this from when it was a store called van husick and me and mom used to go to the outlet and um go to the store and get it of course that store i know is probably long gone but that just goes to show you how much great clothes you can find in your stash so i need to do like a shop my closet stash edition because i have some pieces in there that i have had for a very long time that is still intact no holes no tears no wear like i and i saw this and i'm like oh my goodness y'all know my favorite color is yellow <laughs> and then it's crochet too so <laughs> i am so old <laughs> I am so old. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to catch y'all later. Bye, guys.